Welcome to the You Heard Podcast with your hosts, Ben, Joe, and CB. We're here to cover everything related to Miami Hurricanes football, from hot topics to pre- and post-game analysis. All right, we'll talk about it at the end. So, no, no, let's talk about that right now because you completely <laughs> flipped it on me now. I hate him for knowing this, bro. This man knew the brand, dog. Okay, I don't appreciate that. I'm saying, like, I don't appreciate it. I mean, what, is you so, what are we talking about, man? Get into it. I feel keeping it a buck. You heard? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We back at it, man. It's you heard part. I'm at an undisclosed location. Mind your business. You know what I mean? Just mind your business. That's all. Still in the boondocks. Still in the boondocks, man. I mean, I uh, want to consider this major city a boondocks. Uh, major, mid-major, maybe. You know what I mean? Major. It's like a <laughs> butler. You know what I mean? It's like a butler out here. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know. What's the deal? Chilling, man, chilling. You know what I'm saying? It's Wednesday, man. You know what I'm saying? The the boys get back to practice tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? They, you know what I'm saying? They're doing. They're still in the full pads, doing their thing. Thudding, which we'll talk about. Uh, ah, coming. Got it. Yeah. There's yeah, a thudding. few few prospects expected. You know what I mean? I'm um, hearing like big numbers, man. Like yeah, like serious, like high double digits. Yeah, and this this crazy eat. This is Easter weekend too, man. And yeah, they traveling. The they probably on spring break. Yeah, what up, Georgia? What up, Georgia? What up, Jorge? What up? What up? With this, if he's rolling like that, yeah, man. So, just wanted to get on here, man. We we were on obviously for the culture. Shout out to Flow and Ao. I'm saying shout out to Ao hosting on Monday. We'll be back in two weeks with that. That's my guy, man. Good peoples. Love messing with him, man. He's like the little brother of the pot. I don't even know how old he is. He might be older than us. But Iowa age is just different. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to get on here and talk about the Cam Ward effect, right? And it's not – I'm looking at it. We talked about it on the show. We talked about it after. And you said some shit that, that threw me off. You know what I'm saying? You said – I don't know if you said it on the show or after, like, you started – you looked at the, you looked at the, at the Kool-Aid packet. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you looked at the Kool-Aid packet because of the Shador video. Now – I'm I'm still on the other end of it, right? Like I'm still inside of like, man, I don't. It's not Cam Ward. It's just like I've been. I don't want to be hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, like I've been so many times before, right? So for those of us who, and you see it all over social media, right? Don't like, yo, man, this is the same shit all over again. Same fucking hurricanes, yada yada yada. Because this video, that video, this person does this. How how are you able to process it where it doesn't? Where the past doesn't affect it, man. You know, this might be like a little, you know, what I'm saying, just a conversation between us. Obviously, people watching and shit. But how how do you go about that, man? Because I'm I still don't, can't let myself get carried away. Yeah, because I've been saying it since you you've known me, man. The the previous year is not this year. You yeah. know what I mean? 2023 is not 2024. 2024 yeah. is not 2023. Things happen in different years for different reasons. You know what I mean? It's not. 20 years, the 20 years, let's say 20 years, we have a 20 year, I guess, hiatus, if you want to call it. Yep. It's not clumped in to each year. Like each year has been a different issue. Facts. Each year has been a different problem. Each year has been, you know, it's it's all been a culmination of what has happened previously. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Whether it be the lack of elite recruiting, whether it be sanctions, whether it be um, high, being lazy on the, the coaching hires, whether it be not pumping enough money into the program to keep up with the times. That has right. been the issue. Those have been the issues. The issue currently was we just started pumping money into the program. When Mark got here, when Coach Cristobal got here, and mm-hmm. it takes a little bit of time now to you can't erase twenty years in two seasons. You know what I right. mean? It's kind of you can't do that shit in life. You know what I mean? If Facts. you've been fucking up for twenty years, you can't yep. <laughs> you can't get that popping in two years. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that's facts. I really, I really look at each season as an individual season. This is a new season. We have different players. Same leadership, 
who, you know, we think is good leaders, you know, I mean, are good leaders, good teachers. Um, so this is, this should be a better year. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. And, and, and I want you to say on the show, I don't, and again, I don't, I honestly don't remember because we talked for so long on after the show on Monday before the culture. Mm-hmm. I want you to say again what you said, man, like about the Cam Ward. What made you look at at, at the at the Kool-Aid packet? You're not, you're not putting it in your drink. You're not even getting the water. You're just like, let me see if I got something, you know what I'm saying, in, in the cup. Yeah, so so the fir- the main thing is watching the video with him, Shador, and the other quarterback from Virginia Tech. I believe his name is Kadron, Kadron or something like that. I'm sorry if I'm missing. Yep, yep. Not that you're watching, but I'm sorry about that. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, we all know the presence and how Shador is looked at nationally. Mm-hmm. Like he's a national figure. We all yep. know Shador Sanders, but the alpha in that room seemed like it was Cam Ward. The big it brother. Just, it, it just seemed like, you know, the way he was talking, the way people were looking at him, um, he can, he can talk about. I beat you like I outdoed you when we played. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So um he just seemed like an alpha. He he looked it seemed like the people who are well respected respects him. Yeah. And when you have that as the quarterback of your team, that leadership can't be like that shit is undeniable. Everybody's going to follow. You already have the head coach that's not a game. You already have that. He's not a game. Nobody fucks with Coach Cristobal. You know Thanks. what I mean? So he has the respect. Defensive coordinator, he has the respect. Everybody mm-hmm. talks about him glowingly. The All of the coordinators are, are respected. Now you have the quarterback that's respected. Which is the that's leader of the team on that field. Son, that's a different animal, man. You know what I mean? When you have that, mm-hmm. that's a different animal, man. So let's get uh, as you bring that up, man. Let's let's bring that up here uh with uh which coach coach Mirabal talking about Cam. Yeah. Phenomenal. Man, he is our program today. We are more physical and we are tougher and we have a, a chip on our shoulders because that's who our quarterback is. Our quarterback is tough, he is physical, and he's got a chip on our shoulder and the rest of the program feeds off of it. Right. So those guys up front, I mean, they feed off it. I know a lot of people, you know, that what he did, taking all those guys out to dinner. He won them jokers now. Right. So those guys, they they love Cam. The defense loves Cam. Um, And like I said, he's just a I mean, I love I love him because I love what he's about. He's an honorary old lineman. He's got that edge to him. And because of that, those guys are going to battle and fight for him. He's like that. Reese has got an edge to him. Emery's tough as hell. Judd is tough, uh, JB. So we got a tough quarterback room. Typically, those guys you would you would think that they're the anti that. These guys yeah. are all that. So yeah. it's been awesome, and and he's mm-hmm. good. You know, he's a vet. He's got he he don't get flustered. You know, he's a vet. He's he's been in the, un, under the fire and stuff like that. And, you know, we're trying to help him understand our protection scheme and stuff. But he's been fantastic. Love being around that that young man, and and I know the offensive line loves him. Yeah. Mm. Facts. See, that's that's what that's what had me right. Like watching that when when the offensive line wants to block for you, when the offensive line is riding with you, you know what I mean. It becomes different. And I, I was watching that. I was like, again, it was like, man, like I want to, right? Like I want, like I know Cam is a different talent than we've had here, right? Like I guess we can go back with the Eric King, you know what I mean? Like the talent wise, but it's not the same thing. Not the same height. Not yeah, the same. After, yeah. Not the same. It's not the same at all. Nope. It's not the same. So you go into that, and I'm like, it's like I, I want it, I want it, but I still want to like keep keep a level head. You know what I mean? I don't want to get carried away. I don't want to drink the Kool Aid like crazy. But I was like watching Mr. Dorsey and then listen to what you said and listen to uh, yesterday, to Coach Mirabal. I was like, man, like this is really that I do like because this these are things that weren't done before, right? Like this is how you start to change the routines of what is right like the the culture not just like everybody everybody has a, like like a buzzword it's more so like this is how you start to change the temperature in the room right like you know i, I like this shit this way like no we're not doing it like that no more now we're doing it like this now we send the temperature at 72 degrees i say make sure everybody's comfortable and then we get it cooking yeah. you know what i mean think about think about 
there's a video, um, highlight video. My, think about Michael Jordan highlight video, right? So there was a game against the Knicks. Uh, Charles Oakley, Xavier McDaniel, they was punking Scottie Pippen, right? Mm-hmm. Xavier McDaniel was in Scottie Pippen's face punking him. Michael Jordan pushes Scottie Pippen out the way and steps in McDaniel's face like, what? Don't fuck with my, you know what I mean? He cur- yeah. That's yeah. the type of shit from the leader. Yeah. Like, Mike is the, the unquestioned leader of the team, yeah. and he taking bullets. It seems like that's what can what That's what you need from your quarterback regardless. Mm-hmm. When when there's a scrum on the field, your quarterback he's, not supposed to walk away. You know no. what I mean? He's supposed he's not to, go, supposed to go, go sit on the bench. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like facts. that's that's what it is, man. And and that that's that's how you garner trust in football. You could fucking die on that field, b. You need everybody with you. Mm-hmm. That's gonna go hard with you. You got. You yeah. have to have that, man. You have to have. Yeah, that. You, you can't have nobody sitting yeah. arms crossed. You know what I'm saying? Ranting and raving. Yeah. The quarterback oh, gotta be that, man. The quarterback. The quarterback, has quarterback, quarterback, got, quarterback got. Quarterback got to be first. He's gotta be Leonidas, fam, from 300. Facts. He's Facts. gotta be kicking the bitch ass, bitch ass haters to the hole, man. Facts. All right. So George asked, "Do you got? Do you think Jacoby George should have put more weight on like Horton did? To me, he looks. He looks like. I. I think that's just what his frame is." Yeah, I've, if you've listened to the show the last year, I've said that yeah. I always said, and I'll repeat it again because I don't shy away from my comments. And all that, you know I said mean? it like he was wearing. He looked like he was wearing his, his pops, his pops jersey, like bring, <laughs> bring son of school jersey dress and all that. Yeah, I mean, like like a onesie. You know what I mean? It just it is what it is. I just think that's that's his body type. That's just what yeah. it is. Yeah. I, again, like I think uh, Stacy Coley. You know what I'm saying like guys like that yeah. just don't put on weight, and that's just what their body's gonna be. Mike Harley, uh, you know what I mean? Mike Harley's another one never put on any weight. Yeah. Uh uh. Nice I don't know what this is about, but I'm 40 now, so I don't this feels kind of personal. You in the 40 honestly. 40 club, son. You know, 40, 40, 40 club and TV on the screen, son. Yeah. All right. Exactly what Danny Gralla says exactly what was missing with TVD last year. The quiet leader that don't work here. You can't be quiet here. You can't be quiet. Like not at, King was, not at that position, man. Not, not at that, that position, man. Not a, no, never. Like game managers and that mentality is out the window. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh haven't heard anything from Malik Brown. He's a spring. Hey, he's he's working, man. He's still a young player. You know what we I'm just saying? seen, we just seen they just showed something with him making a play. He's number 24. Um, yep. there's a there's a there's some video out there of him making tackles. Yeah. I do like the low numbers for the for the defense for the Defensive players, man, like the 24, the oh, 30. I always have a low number. Yes, I always have single digits oh, is the joint, but I always have a yeah. We're gonna talk about uh, that thing. We're gonna so, talk about same, that. We're gonna bro. we're gonna talk about that, man. Don't don't get ahead of the pod. Appreciate y'all. 55 in the room right now. Make sure y'all hit that smash that like, subscribe button, share with your friends, man. Let them know what you heard is all about. If y'all listen to us on, on your audio pods the next day, make sure to leave us a review, man. It helps to grow the channel, helps grow the pod, and you know what I'm saying possibly get us some sponsors here in our on a couple of days, man. But yeah, man. So to wrap up the Cam Ward effect, right? I just, it's hard for me to get carried away, and I don't want to get carried away, but I still recognize the talent, right? Like I've seen the highlights. I've talked with talked with people who know football, and I mean, I've watched this highlight tape over and over. I watch his low light tapes. You know what I'm saying? Even when he's struggling, because it ain't it ain't all it ain't all. You know what I'm saying? All peaches, pot of golds. You know what I'm saying out here? So. Is but yeah, like that Shador thing, just like from the clip they showed, like him talking back. I was like, Oh, we could do that. <laughs> just, just that part. I was like, We could talk back. We, we don't have to be no born ass mayonnaise personalities out here. Yeah, fantastic. That's great. So I was, I was with that for real. And that goes into after you make a mistake, right? After you throw a pick, you're not low. He, he's not going to hang his head. That's you know exactly I mean? yeah, That's the pod right there. That is that is that is the pot. <laughs> Fact. Fact. This show is like being at the barbershop when you don't need a haircut, just cooling with the home team. 100 percent man. Facts. That's how that's the yeah. whole mentality of the pod, bro. That's Facts. the whole mentality. Yeah, like I was saying, when, when he throw a pick, he's not gonna hang his head. If he fumble or if he get a three and out, he's not gonna walk to the bench and just sit down and be all by himself. He's gonna be up. He's gonna keep talking. Yep. He's gonna keep talking to shit. He's gonna keep it. Looks like he's the type that. If he does make a mistake or throw a pick, it gets him more zoned in. He take yep. he looks at that shit like a challenge. Like, nah, I can't do this shit. Let's go. 
let's get it. You know what I mean? So like no nope, fan, as as we're as we're talking about this and I'm reading the, the comments, then you and I it's crazy because you you start to realize the mentality of saying he was a possible top two, top three round pick to the NFL. He's like, nah, it's not good enough for me. Yeah. I believe I'm a first round talent. That's why, like, besides the money and the negotiate gravity out of all that stuff, he still said, like, he could have got a bag like that to, at the league. You know what I'm saying? He could have got what he got here in the league easy. Right. So him saying, nah, man, I'm betting on myself. That's the mentality that's like, yo, like, that's crazy. You know yeah. what I mean? like, he can't, he like, can't oh, fail. He can't fail. It's his money year. He can't fail. Yeah. He's like, yo, I'm one of the best. I believe I'm one of the best quarterbacks in the country. I'm about to let y'all know why. Yeah. CB in the building. Shout out to CB. You know what I'm saying? That's the fan. Man, 40 years and old, bro. You're only <laughs> as old as you feel. I feel old. My back is my back is trash. I'm saying my knee ain't right. A lot, you know what I'm saying? A lot of running in the army days caught up with me, bro. First of all, Doodle's a great name. That's a great name, Doodle. At Tim, don't worry, Jojo and Night Car coming. Yeah, Night Car, Chance Robinson. Can't forget about Chance Robinson coming in a couple weeks. I think right after spring is done. But yeah, man. Uh yeah, that Cam Moore shit is crazy. Like, I don't want to get too hyped up, but it, the other side of it is like, man, like we got it. We got somebody that, like you said, people who know football respect. Them. Like, I'm saying high level people. That's so that's big time right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. All right, so next up on the show, we want to get to a part that Joe, that my brother here, Joe, brought up, is the Maribel presser. You know what I'm saying? Maribel, first of all, the man can fire up anybody. I'm just just watching him talk. I was like, yo, what you need? who you need me to block, son? What, how you want me to take my out step? Let me know something that's happening. Let me get to this part right here that Joe brought up on the, I'm saying, from the press conference and bring it back up on the channel. On the verge man. of earning our program's trust to be able to play. Would he benefit from a developmental I don't. We don't believe in developmental years here because of the fact that you, there's never a guarantee, right? So we're going to win. We're going to win, and, and it's important for us to win now, right? So there's no, hey, saving for a year, saving for two years. You know, you know how it goes. It, it, football has its own plan, right? God has his own plan. So right. he might have to play like tomorrow. That's my job. My job's not to, hey, he's got two years before he's got to play. Or he's got a year before he's got to play. My job is, my, my my job, I'm hired to make sure that if Markel Bell has to play that first game, that he's ready to go. You know what I'm saying? Nice. And I think if you have that attitude mm-hmm. as a coach, you're going to help them grow. If your attitude is as a coach is, oh, he's got a year, then you're going to, well, you know what? We'll get to that. No, we're not going to get nice. to that. You know, we're going to push mm. the envelope with him uh, because, you know, every year is not going to be like last year. Every year is not going to be like last year. Those five can ride. Tell them. Sound like Joe you know? right there. Uh, so <laughs> we've got to make sure that, that those guys are ready. So that's not my mentality at all. That's not Kel's mentality at all. That's not Coach yeah. Ball's mentality at all. So. Yeah. Mm. That shouldn't be the mm. mentality anywhere. Like that's been a that's been a huge that's been a topic of conversation on Mad Pods, and we've talked mm-hmm. about it plenty of times about yes, development and waiting your turn and getting older guys in here because freshmen are not ready. Listen, man, this is 2024, fam. This ain't 88. Mm -hmm. Like Mm -hmm. 17, 18, 19 year old old young men are coming in 6'6", 250, son. Like they coming in ready. uh, (laughs) uh, Armando Blunt's coming in 6'3", 300. They are coming in ready, man. And then Especially if you've been at an elite program, why do you mm-hmm. think the young men go to IMG? You think it's for school? Like they go in there to get ready for college, like mm-hmm. a program like IMG, a program like Central, a program like Heritage. The, those are basically college preparatory schools. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, like the developmental shit. Let's get a. Why do you need an older player? I, I get the experience, but when do you trust the young? When do you trust the young guys? Like, yeah. When, I, at I, one I, point, I, at what I, point do you trust the freshmen? Especially, uh, my bad, Ben. Especially if they enroll I, early, you I, have eight months to yes. get them ready. That's almost a, a year in the program. You're you're a year yeah. in, essentially. Yeah. You essentially yeah, a sophomore, my guy. 
You know what I mean? That's why I always had the question, which was like, not all experience is good, right? Like, oh, they're fifth year yes. senior. I don't give a fuck. I want the best players to play. And the fifth year senior, the fifth year senior has been taught for five years. His mentality is what he's been taught. What if he what if he come from a shit program and a shit coach? What if he's mm -hmm. been taught all the wrong shit? So now what you if have he's struggling to struggling at spring camp. Yeah, you have to start over. So that's like yeah. a freshman coming in mentally. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. Yeah. Um, look, we hear the whispers. There was a couple comments in it. We hear the whispers and, and kind of speaking on that side of it, man. Like, it just <laughs> because they're fifth-year guy, you know what I mean? Y'all know who I'm talking about. If y'all don't know who I'm talking about, come on. Just because you're a fifth-year guy doesn't mean it's going to be all good. There's been questions raised. There's been – we talked about it on Monday show. Shout out to Flo and EO again for the culture. Like, it's been said over and over. It's like, not all not all experience is good experience, man. Just because they come from a quote-unquote bigger league – but they were on a shit team doesn't, you know what I'm saying, doesn't mean they they bounce up. And even if they come from a better team, you you never know what, they, what their footwork is going to be like till they get here. Because maybe they were only asked to block, you know what I'm saying, the, the lineman right over them or, or, or move up to the next, you know what I'm saying, get the, get the because they were running team to get the linebackers and push forward. They might not be able to handle a stunt, you know what I mean? So it becomes, it becomes things like, because there was a comment, that I, I don't want to put it up, but Joe, I don't know if you saw it from, from our guy Nassau. He says the I don't know. Scroll up on that so you can see it. I'm not gonna put it on because you know what I'm saying I don't want to put his business out there like that. But it's 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 challenging, man. Because I always said like yo, I, the best guy should play. That's why last year I was like, yo, Ray Ray got to play, man. Like obviously before X got his fucking monster year, he's gonna have another monster year this year. I was like, Ray Ray has to play, bro. Like one day. Yeah, it's easier to teach it than this. Facts, CB. Facts. Like, Ray Ray has to get that time because at some point, X is going to leave. Then you're going to have Ray Ray that might have gotten 10 snaps in two years. Then you still don't know what the fuck we got. Then we're having this conversation a year from now. Like, oh, but this guy's going to do it this year. We don't fucking know. JB11 last year. We don't fucking know. Emery, you know what I'm saying? Like, all these players, they got to get that burn, man. And not just... You got to start building that trust in them early because that's that's working towards recruitment, right? Because you got to re recruit your own guys. I Sam, like, how am I going to tell you, yo, Joe, we're doing the pot on Wednesday? And I keep telling you, I mean, I, yo, you know what, man, I can't make it Wednesday. And we get this kid and push back, yo, I'll make it, we'll make it Sunday though, and I'm late on Sunday. That's work, I think that's built. And then when you say, yo, then when you come out late, hey, man, I can't do the pod no more. You know what I'm saying? Then it was like, well, but why? You know what I'm saying? Then you go do a post something like that's that's building the that's building the camaraderie and recruitment. It's like it's already you already know what I'm about. You already know what Joe, you know what Joe's about. You know what CB's about. You know what Polk's about. Like we here, we tell each if we can't make it, we tell each other. There's not we in the building like we communicate constantly. So it can't be. It can't be these are the three guys I trust. Mm -hmm. You gotta let those other guys shine because then you're telling them in a way like yo, you're not ready yet. They, mm -hmm. Guess what? The transfer portal open twice a year, mm -hmm. three times. <laughs> Basically, you're gonna about to be three times a year now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you're a grad transfer, so you got to re recruit your guys, and that leads to it, man. You can't. It this isn't 2017 anymore, yeah. where you just gotta you get that you they could just sit and you'll be good. Yeah, that's Tim. facts. Facts, Tim. Facts, Tim. I'm not gonna put that up because I don't want. <laughs> you know what I'm I don't want to put the young man. Everybody in the comments re react to what Tim said. I'm not putting it up because. You know, we try to stay away from that. We'll talk around it. Y'all know who we're referring to, but we'll never say names like that. Yeah, I think it's I think it's imperative when when these transfers come in that we look at how they how they performed against the elite people, the elite teams on their schedule. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So if you're in the Big Ten and you got busy against Temple and you got busy against, you know what I mean, <laughs> Northwestern and stuff yeah. like that. You know, yeah, but then when Ohio State and Penn State and Michigan came, you know, you was getting your lunch ate. Yep, That's yep. more of what you're going to see down here. You know what I mean? Yep, so yep. you got to – and the one thing, like, listen, the ACC ain't the toughest, man, but the linemen are Tough, good in this conference, man. I'm not yep, even going to yep. front. Like, yep, you know, yep. so you got you to gotta have a, a – a old line that's that's about it about it 
<laughs> about it, about it. All right. About it, about it. This question from St. Louis. What about conference realignment situation? Uh, uh, oh, man. Real G's moving. You know what I'm saying? Real G's moving silence, man. Dan, Dan Rad doing his thing. He's a, uh, first of all, CB's giving himself credit. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's citing himself. He's CB, go to a meeting or something, son. Yeah, man. Go, this dude said a perfect <laughs> analogy by me. That's just yeah, man. Go that's have a one on uh, have a one on one with one of your with one of your your people. He could have a pod by himself talking to himself. Yo, one hundred percent. One on one. All right, conference realignment. Uh, <laughs> that's that's coming, man. It's gonna it's gotta happen. It's, it's only two conferences, and the way they deal and everything is what it is. But uh, yeah. Look, there's a lot of money, and Dan Radakovich knows what to do. He has, just like we said on Monday, he has way too much experience in the ACC coming from Clemson. So he's gonna he's gonna make the move he needs to make. I have, I don't really don't have any questions with uh with what he needs to do. Yeah, like saying people, I think this 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 realignment is coming. Obviously, you can't avoid it. You know, what I mean, yeah. um, the SEC and the Big Ten got it locked right now. I think, I, you know, I just I think that the ACC is probably gonna try a last ditch effort. Maybe with the Big Twelve, maybe to merge yep. for a couple years. You yep. know what I mean? And then see what happens in the next couple, like 2026, 2027. Cause I think um something happens in the next couple of years. Um, and then I think it's really gonna change to the big two in a couple in a yeah. couple years, maybe like three, four years, something like that. Facts. Let's read uh CB's analogy here. You can learn how to swim at the YMCA with the calm water and the floaties, but the real test is when you're in the ocean with the current <laughs> and shit. What is shit? And, and shit. shit. And, and shit. And shit. All and the shit. other things that... that go with the current. That's the right. shit. Okay. That's the shit. All the <laughs> seaweed, sema, all that shit. I hear you, Jojo and Carter uh, are ahead because they've gone through spring river looking good too. If the tight ends are Elijah Lofton. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's. That's what we've been hearing. We yeah, knew that yeah, already. Good things on, on both a lot. Elijah Lofton and Arroyo, man. All the Elijahs. All the Elijahs popping. Yeah. I don't know about could be a, could be tough for a chance to crack the rotation. Yeah, we thought that too, but Mark Fletcher came through. You know what I'm saying? Like you never know the look, uh Chance Robinson is the man that does not cont- does not stop working. If you've met his pops, you would know why. That dude he's not <laughs> just sitting terrifying, terrifying human being. You know what I'm saying? We met him. Uh, you got to realize that's that mentality isn't going to go away because he because you don't see him doesn't mean it's not working. Mm-hmm. Chalupa cites himself, bro. It's still rolling. I'd rather go to the SEC. Okay. Am I, am I blurry? I said it, yeah, you, you're a little blurry. I'd rather go to the SEC. Yeah, I said it before. I want him in the SEC. I think we're probably gonna probably gonna end up in the Big Ten just because remember, we did do uh, that some, some kind of qualifier for for only that only the big 10 requires um i think that's kind of where it's been aiming at sec doesn't have any academic requirements if we're keeping it a buck relax they got, they got vandies huh the one all right my bad my bad bro vandies, one huh? one out of one out of 22 this is crazy everyone was on jj but uh oh, what's happening but I'm saying Lo- Lofton is the best in the nation. Yeah, Lofton's a problem, Saint. Lofton is a problem. I don't know what's happening with Joe right now. He knocked his camera over. This dude is struggling over there. He's son, why do you have so much technical difficulties, bro? I don't know why my shit is blurry. It feels blurry. It looks blurry. It, it look it looks it looks like you might be you might have been wearing a white shirt at some point and it's a little bit fucked up. I mean, oh, like it just man. isn't it, it's this the is white the camera shirt. you told me to get, son. So so my my camera has never it's had an issue. You told me to get. I personally didn't know it had it had <laughs> race. George George says you look okay. Okay, is bad. Not a, <laughs> that's not a compliment, George. You know, hey, you don't look terrible. <laughs> I feel blurry, guys. I, I'm looking, and it looks blurry to me, man. I don't know what's. That's going just on. your hands over the green screen, fam. Nah, son, I can, it's a uh, big difference, man. You wild and men, I think we're good. This man said, "Relax, they got Mandy." I said, "This has never been uttered." <laughs> it's real sports. Mandy coming, CB. It's on Missouri yeah. surpassed Missouri <laughs> surpassed Mandy, son. I got Mandy. We have to get all these receivers ready to play because we all know the info about unfortunate events. Everybody's got to be ready. So, Joe, yeah. 
I look, man, I've said it before. I think there's people that are gonna bounce that we're not ready to bounce. So everybody's give everybody's gotta be ready at any given moment, man. That's what Coach Mirabal says that, that you got a cross ring. That doesn't just happen, you know what I'm saying, at, at the old line level. You know what I mean? He's saying he's got eight or nine, he feels about eight or nine deep. Last year he feels he said it wasn't like six, he felt like it was more like six or seven. So that's better. That's across the board, man. Obviously, a little thin at some positions, but uh, but yeah. P- p- relax, they got Vandy. That's sort of name. That's what I'm naming the next episode. I've already named episode 133. Relax, they got Vandy is what it's gonna be. That's just <laughs> so stupid. I can't believe you said that. Like, like seriously. Yeah, man. Yeah, fam. That's look, linebackers all day. All right, what else we got? All right. Speaking of linebackers, thank you, Saint. You must have you must have seen these comments. You must have seen this branding out here. All right, we didn't talk about this last week. One of the best coaches, obviously, we're gonna, I want your perspective on this. One of the best coaches we have on the defensive side. That defensive side coaches, so they must they must show up to compete against each other. Like who's gonna out recruit? Who's gonna out coach positions? Right? Because what do you think about the promotion for uh, D Nick? Um, yeah, it was obviously warranted, you know. Um, mm-hmm. D Nick has got glowing reviews. Listen, we're not in the building, so we don't know, but all you can do is is listen to the recruits, listen mm-hmm. to the players, and listen mm-hmm. to his peers, right? So yep, every coach raves about D Nick, not even just coaches on the current staff, just at his previous stops. Um recruits are great, like Obviously, you see what he's bringing yep. in, you know, yep. um, and the current players, man, they'll, they'll run through a wall for him. You see the energy he brings every mm-hmm. single time, every time. It doesn't change. You know what I mean? It does not change. Oh, what up? It does not change. So the energy is there. Um, the knowledge is there. He he is a seminal, you know, that. Mm-hmm. You know, that's disturbing a little bit to me, but you know what I mean? He does his thing. He's a professional. He's a professional yes, and he's a teacher and that's what you need, man. So it's it's well-deserved. Um, I'm glad they did it. And um, it looks like, yeah, it looks like Coach Cristobal is not playing. You know, he's doing the things necessary to keep the cohesiveness of the staff. Yes, sir. And that's yes. important. That's vital. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I love it. I think it was a mastermind, like the, the comment said that D Nick is a mastermind with the linebackers. I think it was a mastermind move by Coach Mirabal and and the people who needed to make that move to promote him. It's a big year for linebackers. You know what I mean? You show you show that you're committed to that to that room. You show that you're committed to their coach. It it's just gonna lead to more positive things because look, whatever graphics you might see from possible commitments coming forward, you know what I'm saying in the next couple of weeks. We already know, fam. You see the, you know the, you know the. If you be up in December, man. If you know the pod, man. If you see, if you watch, you listen to us. December is the only shit that matters, fam. Mario don't stop recruiting. Coach D Nick ain't gonna stop recruiting. They're gonna be exactly who they've always been, man. So that work is gonna continue. D Nick believes in the program, and the promotion gives them a bigger bag to fight those issues off. Like Coach Gidry, same thing. Give them more bag, extend them, give them a couple more years, keep that work going. Keep this is I think we lost what one coach, right? Two, two coaches to, to other programs and one to the league. To the league, That's, yeah. Yeah, one to the league and one to another program. That's and he got a promotion over there. So salute to them. That's 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 big. That continuity is important, man. The language doesn't change. You know what I'm saying? That's that's a point to keep the room growing and developing and leads to that camaraderie and culture. That's too many C's. It felt like, but and you and you them. you can kind of see that if coach the coach wants to, if Coach Cristobal wants to keep you, he will do everything in his power to keep you. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So, and if he doesn't, he will place you somewhere. Mm-hmm. He won't let you go. He won't outright fire you, but he will place you somewhere. You know what I mean, yeah. just keep them keep them mofo's happy. You're right. Trying to curse as much as I used to as when we started the show. Also, we used to drink on the show, and I'm glad we don't anymore. I used to curse a lot more at the beginning. I mean, I said I it was a lot more cussing. Don't, as don't you say, me. remember that shit. I got you. All right. Yeah. Hey, but shit doesn't feel like a cuss word. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah. 
That is no, a, technically it's not according it to YouTube. Like not. It, but it is. It doesn't feel like it, so it's not like to me. It doesn't feel like it. You know what I mean? That's a great analogy by me. Logic. You know I mean? Okay. All right. Yeah, in my own in my That's own logic. Right. You know I mean? Yeah. Right. Yeah, but yes, yeah, great promotion. D Nick well deserved. Uh, Ragon is probably gonna be a GA. Now nah, he's gone. Man. He graduated. He's gonna try his luck in in a league. Wish him the best in his future endeavors. Whatever he bounces, man. Yeah. Kid kid worked his ass off. Obviously, never had the tangibles to be. You know what I'm saying? But he was always in the right place. I'm, he's That's gonna be a great. Front, right. When 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 Ryan was in the game, he made plays, baby. He made plays, man. He's gonna be a hell of a coach, bro. I say that shit till forever. He's gonna be a hell of a coach because he was always in the right way. CB better not be cussing on his next one. All right, put it like this: If he left before this year, no way he weren't weren't for all the top LBs in the in this class. Much like Kevin Beard, LBs respect him, so we have a chance where we shouldn't even. Yeah, we shouldn't even have chances sometimes. That's facts. Shit is not in the upper echelon of cuss words. There's no way. Upper echelon of cuss upper words to me is like every- of cuss words though. It is a cuss word though. It well, is a cuss word, but it's not like you know. Whatever you're putting it on, it is a cuss word. You know right, but mean? it's not the upper echelon, right? Okay. Like, let's, let's robbery is not murder, but it is right. a crime. Correct. <laughs> it is. But it's like it's like, I might get probation. I'm not yeah. going, you know what I mean? I'm not but going to jail still, for life. You're still committing a crime. But but understand the difference though. Like I might like odds uh, judge sorry. You said it's I'm very... not I'm not cursing anymore as much. You know I'm gonna start cursing in Spanish. Thank you, Danny. Mierda. How about that? I understand about, all st- that shit. Yeah, I know you do. I'm just gonna start I... cursing in Spanish. But I'm saying like upper echelon on cuss words like MF. You know what I'm saying? Like everything is Samuel my, L. Jackson. Is, is my Duke on here? Thank God she's not. She okay, I need her on here. I, I need. I'm put. I'm putting her on every show. I'm gonna tell her no, to come no, on every no. single show. No, no, no. Maybe so that'll stop you from it's, cursing. I won't. My mom. My mom still loves me. me though. It'll stop yeah, me. Mama, no, no. It, you know what? Every time I'm like, is she here? I don't. I'm not quite. Like it's like, <laughs> how's that? Like I don't know. Because <laughs> I can't. Cause I won't know. I can't know until she's uh, until she comments. <laughs> Look, Anthony Manda, shout out to Anthony Man. Love her. What the defensive side is doing on the offense is good, but they know they have it in them to be great. Yeah, man. Like, there's like the fact I, they just seem to have more fun, right, on the defensive side. Because like, yo, we're gonna put you in these positions to succeed. On the offensive side, it just it always felt like they were hitting a ceiling before they needed to, right. and that that shit can't happen this year. Which is your biggest concern, right? Before we get to the next topic, like all this shit is fun. Like, oh, JoJo's balling. Elijah Lawson, all this shit, but it's like that's that's always what stops me from getting the Kool Aid out and cracking it open, man. Because I don't, I don't believe I gotta see the offense do it consistently. Or you know, what I mean, I gotta see them take advantage. I gotta see them take advantage of mismatches, and you know, I, I gotta see it, man. I gotta see it. I gotta see yeah, the musical yeah. personnel. I gotta see creativity in the in the in the offensive play call. I gotta see it, man. I gotta see it. TJ, that's yeah, that's a problem. Offense, yeah. Dawson. Who will we call the plays this year? Dawson. I think I think Mario has more trust in him. Again, everything's everything's all fun and games, so you get punched in the face. And like we can talk about it now, like oh, he's coaching his O line more, yada yada yada. But it's like let's see what happens when. We want to just win a game 21-17. You know what I mean? Like that's that's when shit gets frustrating. You're like, yo, we're just playing for the field goal, which fucking annoyed the shit out of me last year. There you go. See, that's an upper echelon cuss word. Cause it did. It did annoy me, and I had to curse before it to give it an extra impetus. You know what I mean? Shout out David Scott. Shout out to you here from the bottom. Key West, Florida. Damn, shout out to Key West, man. Lovely place. Joe, you ever been to Key West? No, but that's oh that's- yeah. Hey, yeah, we need to do that. We need to do that. You, yeah, yeah, we need we need to make that a U heard trip, yo. Like that, Key West is dope. Home of the yeah. first superstar of the U, George Mayer Senior. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Danny out here giving you credit. You know what I'm saying? Different vibe in 2024. How you feel about it, Danny? You are you are you opening up the 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 Kool Aid packet, mix it in your drink? You know what I'm saying? You put extra sugar in it. How you doing? How you setting it up, man? Let me know. Let, as a matter of fact, everybody, let me know in the comments. What's what's your favorite Kool Aid? And you you starting to mix it? You haven't sipped it yet? Like, where are you at on the echelons or the levels of Kool Aid? Are you just leaving it in the cupboard, looking at it? Did you buy it at the store? You know what I mean? Like that's 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 a good way to look at. It. 
how you do anything is how you do everything is how. Have a QB on the rise and make him look like crap. You know, get the best out of the coaches and don't use them. Recruit the best players and don't develop them. Yeah, right. Develop. Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent facts, right? You can't. Hundred percent category. Hundred percent. FTW. We have a young Ray Lewis and a junior say on the roster. Hopefully, that's big talk. That's big talk. As I don't know. That's, I don't know if I want to put Hall of Fame expectations. On seventeen-year-olds, if I'm keeping it a buck, that's that's a lot. But we hope you're right. This is looking like a real football team again. Get all the foolishness out, facts. Hey, St. Louis, why why are you going all caps? It's very aggressive. It's finally a new team perspective, knowing that they have a value QB at the helm. Yep. Have y'all seen what Joe was talking about? Have y'all seen the Shador and Cam Ward video? You know what I'm saying? How how they went about it? And yeah, watch that thing if you haven't. Yeah, Joe says he looks like the camera looks like the big brother in the room. <laughs> Listen, man, uh, king of battle, man. I believe I I honestly believe the best five will be on the line, man. You know, what yeah. I mean, regardless, like wherever that is, terrible. Everybody, you know, people work everywhere, so I believe the best five will be starting the season, man. So. Mm -hmm. Whatever that is, that is. Yeah. Starting five is a starting five, man. Hey, uh, 98 in the room, man. Appreciate y'all rocking with us. Make sure y'all hit that like. You know what I'm saying? Share. Obviously, the comments is popping. Al, you already going up glass. What what glass you on right now? Uh, where you at? You know what I'm saying? We got real Kool-Aid with wine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get sick, fam. That's too much sugar. Uh, that's, that sounds well. That sounds, that's like a flavored honey, too. Let's hear, from, let's hear from 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 Kane's way, man. Yeah, let's do it. We'll let's be right back. Welcome to Kane's Wear. New store, new items, same great experience. Family owned and operated since 2010, Kane's Wear has the latest merchandise from the Miami Hurricanes. Miami Dolphins, Florida Panthers, Inner Miami CF, and more. Come visit us at our store in Davie on University Drive, just south of 595, or online at Caneswear.com. Caneswear, the spot Miami fan shop. Hey, Joe, let them know what's popping with Caneswear April 13th. Listen, man, if you're in South Florida, please come out to Caneswear, man, April 13th. We will mm -hmm. be there at 10 a.m. Yep. Probably the target is till noon, but you never know what's going to happen, man. Um, the spring game don't start till 4. So mm -hmm. we'll be out there at 10 a.m., man, at Canesware, chopping it up, man. We're doing live interviews. Um, there's going to be plenty of things going on at the store, man. Um, mm -hmm. So there will probably be some deals you can catch um, at Canesware. There's going to be content creators, a whole bunch of your favorite content yep. creators. Out there, man. Let them know, son. Let a whole know. bunch, you know what I mean. So, I, I wait. It's just gonna be a, everybody gonna be out there, man. There's gonna yeah, be some come on out, man. That pop up, you know what I mean. So, so come through, man, and, and we just kick it. It's not, it's nothing, you know, crazy. We just gonna kick it, have fun, talk, meet in person. If we haven't met, you know, we are gonna meet in person and, and chop it up, man. Like we did last year. This is the second annual. Yeah, you know, man. Share, we got a chance. You know, some recruits came through. Chance yeah. came through with his pops. You yeah. know, that's how that's how we kind of knew what was going on. We didn't know what was going to happen that day. You yeah. know what I mean? But <laughs> shook know. hands with him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah, man, we're going to kick it. So come out and, and chop it up with us. Facts. All right. This is a good question. That I want to make sure I get to. It's silly since the Ben. That's why. That's why the U was cabin with Ray, Ray and Seattle comment. But can you guess who I was referring to? Who do you think are the linebackers he's referring to, Joe? Um, I would have to say Popo. Yep. And shit, uh, Kiko. 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 Yeah. I have to say Popo. It's got to be Popo. Popo. Yeah. Popo all day, son. Popo all day. All right, we got some Kool Aid, strawberry. Danny, man, it's not that far. You know, well, it is a little far from Homestead. You know what I mean? That's 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 legit. You know what I'm saying? That's my I'm old style. Danny, man, we'll, we'll, we'll call the job. You can use this as an excuse, man. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I'm really call good. Him. I'm really good with the signature. You know what I mean? Yeah, I call him. Yeah. I let him know. Hey, look. Danny, hey, yeah. be excused today, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? I call. I hit him up. It's green, it's green and orange day, man. It's green <laughs> and orange day out there. 
But yeah, man, uh, come on out, man. Uh, the the list continues to grow. Appreciate everybody that's coming out, man. That said, yes, we are. So we we reached out to everybody before we put it out there. It's dope, man. It's gonna be a great time, man. So make sure to come on out. Look, man. One thing I wanted to, before we get up out of here, man. Uh, I wanted because we talked about it in the last time. It's been mentioned before our lack of depth at a, a defensive back, right? At, at corner, more specifically. And I, you hear like when you start getting to when like when I started getting into this, right? You kind of think everybody's competent or everybody's for everybody at the, at their position, right? You don't you don't think about like personalities and clash of personalities and things like that. So when you have what is it? We have six DBs on the roster right now. Got more coming, right? But we've we've continuously we could keep it a buck. Continuously failed to get that top guy, like those upper upper echelon. You know, what I'm saying rankings guys by the metrics, right? You you had a tough time this. I'm saying this past December when you got in when you got in flip. The last five the last five star corner was that Tracy Howard. Yeah. Was it that far back? Yeah. When he when he's in his auditorium, fake puts it on the floor the hat, throws it yeah. all, and puts it. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. That's the last one. That's the last one, man. So look, not the the person at the at the former at the at the cornerback position is a is a developer, right? But mm-hmm. it just always seemed to not. You know what I'm saying? To not get that closing pitch or not things like that. So what I wanted to ask you, right? Like, especially you know how Mario is, the importance of like obsessive recruiters on the staff, right? Because Mario can do a lot, right? But he can't do everything. Right. Like he he can't f- recruit this five star. I mean, he might motherfucker might not sleep. You know what I'm saying? But he tries to do everything, but he can't be everywhere. So, what's the importance of the of an obsessive recruiter and teacher? Because we had a teacher before at this position. Keep it in the book. He was a he was a solid teacher, but recruiting at that next or well, recruiting at that level has been an issue and was an issue for for the previous coach at that position. What's the importance of that? Especially you that have, has gone through it with your son. You know I'm saying back when you did it, I'm sure they had recruiting. I don't know what it was like in during that time. You know what I'm saying? Just it was you're 40, son. What are you talking about? You said, Yeah, but you're you're the same 40. deck. You're like you're like 40, though. Uh, like, you're like nah, you 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 there, son. You know, I'm definitely there, but you like <laughs> you've been, you know what I'm saying? You got seniority in it. So yeah. <laughs> I had to send out VHS tapes, man. Yes. No, you yeah. didn't. No, you didn't know. Exactly. You had to like record everything. Yeah. Yeah. I had to put oh, them in the little plastic, in the little, you know what I'm saying, the little cardboard containers and shit. I had to put it in the plastic. And fresh tape. Put it in the plastic. But yeah, man. So yeah. Why why have we struggled? Why have we struggled to close? Uh, first of all, Cuban. I saw yeah, all the go, all, I, talk I to saw him, all Cuban. the I never saw I'll tell you what I never saw. I never saw the hurricanes win at the OB. Never yeah. I went to I went to six games after I came back from the army. Never once saw a dub. I saw a bunch of losses to North Carolina, Clemson, all ACC games. Never saw them win once. <laughs> Matter of fact, real shit, the Texas A&M game was the first time live that I saw the Hurricanes win. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's And that, was, that wasn't even at the an OB. That's wild. Yeah, but, yeah, man, um, especially recruiters. The importance of – I think there's different factors, man. Um <laughs> CB, really? No, nah, just just corners, Greg. Just corners. It be the guy, Yeah, um, I think there's just different factors, man. I, I think, as we know, recruits want different things. Every recruit is different. No recruit is the same. I think the most important thing is developing re- the relationship. So, in the case that you're not considered an obsessive recruiter, but you are considered a great coach, right? Right. I think developing that relationship and having that relationship is just as important. Um, And that's part of recruiting, 
developing recruiting is just developing the relationship and nurturing the relationship you know mm -hmm. what i mean so as far as corners i think a lot of it has been the performance on the field yep. because there's corners that we know that was like yo i'm coming if i can see y'all you know get busy do something on the field yep. if i can see something you know mm -hmm. what i mean so you know i i don't think it's bad to have a mix of recruiters on the staff. If your head coach is an obs ob obsessive recruiter, mm -hmm. then I think that's good. I think that's fantastic because you're going to have, he's going to have people on the staff that can recruit like him, that are recruit that's like him. You know what I mean? Of course, you're going to have, you know, a couple of people that are, that may not be as obsessive, but they have other things. The, pe the players love his personality. They love yep. the way he teaches, whatever, whatever. But yeah, I think it's I think it's important to have those obsessive recruiters on your staff. But I don't think it hurts you if you don't have in a in upset one obsessive recruiter on the staff. I don't think that hurts you as long as that as long as that coach has other um, positives, elite traits. As long as they have other elite traits. They're an elite coach. They're an elite teacher. I think you can bypass the recruiting. You know what I mean? So. Got you. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, CB's never been to a game. Uh, hey, uh, make sure y'all check out CB's channel. He's got Byron Rudolui dropping this uh, dropping this week. When is it? Friday, CB? Shake my hand, <laughs> CB. CB gets the. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah. That's a different CB conversation for a different day. So yeah. we get the dis disappointed father right there. Mm, just nah. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Let's talk uh, about Zay yeah. real quick. Let's talk about Zay real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need an accent on coach at Miami. We always get players. Uh, when when have we always gotten players? Man? When, <sighs> what what are these always? What have you been around the last twenty? When are these? What are these always? You talk about twenty years? We didn't get the players. Right? Like it wasn't like we had a bunch of number one picks and we just had bad coaches. That, Cuban, that yeah, I, th I think I've always said with the head coach, the coordinators. You're only as good as the coordinators, man. With a head coach like Coach Cristobal, right? Yep. So if Coach Cristobal was an old coordinator or something like that, it's different. But Coach Cristobal is not a coordinator. He's just yep. a, a – he's a CEO. So he has yep. to make the right hires at the coordinator positions. And I think he's worked to make those hires. So it's going to be important for Coach Guidry and Coach Dawson to – Make sure everything is right on both sides of the ball. Facts. Yeah. The uh, just never had. We talked about it last time, though, Cuban. You're right, but you you go back to who who we Clemson, failed to hire. Florida State, Clemson mainly. Clemson mainly, but yeah. also every hire before uh, Coach Cristobal never didn't have experience for real. Besides Mark Rick, and and again, like the man was fighting Parkinson's and got us to ten wins. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's not we, it's not like we were hiring a bunch of it. Randy Shannon, first time head coach. Uh, you go to 2000, 2001 Super, uh, national championship with Larry Coker, first time head coach. Uh, Al Golden, coach at Temple, which was like D two or whatever or whatever it was at that time. Like it so wasn't Cuban, like we were getting. Cuban is saying like Lane Kiffin, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got Lane he's Kiffin, saying Lane Kiffin, the nose guy. You know what I mean? He can well, Lane, Lane Kiffin took a lot of lumps. Before he became Lane Kiffin, like Lane mm -hmm. Kiffin started mad early, like in his early twenties, like mid twenties over there. Like Lane mm -hmm. Kiffin took a lot of lumps. You weren't taking Lane Kiffin after Oakland, you know what I'm saying? Like if we keeping it all the way above. So let's let's chill with that. All right, Zay's hit man. What you want to talk about? You want to talk about the Ooh fact that you yeah, he, he, the the pop man. on uh he hit it, it was ill because Citizen was looking at him like on the way up when he when he went down. He's like, like he like that. Who hit me like that? <laughs> you? Who, who is this? You know what I mean? Like I'm a, I'm gonna get back, but there was some conversation on Twitter about about thudding, right? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um, there was there was some some comments said about uh, because they're thudding, you're not supposed to wrap up because we were like, yo, wrap up, and I was I was joking. But serious, you know what I mean? Wrap up, yep. 
You know what I mean? Wrap up. Make sure you you wrap up. You hit them, but make sure you wrap up um, because a lot of times running backs going to bounce off of that shit. You know what I mean? Yep. On bounce off of that. But um, people are kind of mistaken thudding. Um, somebody commented that when you're thudding, you're not supposed to wrap up. Mm-hmm. And um, that's not that's not the case. You know what I mean? Yeah. When you thud, when you're thudding, you're just not taking to the ground. You're just not taking the player to the ground. The every practice, every coach is adamant about not taking to the ground because that leads to injuries. Injury. Yeah, that leads yep. to more injury in practice. So yep. you stay off the legs, you know what I mean, and you stay mm-hmm. up. Stay up, stay up. You're going to hear that all the time. Stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up. So thudding is aggressively hitting, rapping, but staying up. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that's all. Just wanted, just wanted to, to clear that up for people who, who need a clarity. <laughs> bro, 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 I'd, rather, I'd much rather you wrap me up in that scenario than instead of yeeting me. He got yeah. yeeted. Like, yeah. he got yeeted. He got him. Yeah. You know he what? Called- Everybody. Everybody's like, "Yo, he got him. They got him." Yeah, but my, my the thing I'm looking at, he bounced right back up. Like mm-hmm. the citizens coming back from major injury two yeah, years citizen, ago. Citizen taking that number down. He like, "Oh yeah, okay, I got you, yeah. fam. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I got something for you." Yeah. Like that's that's <laughs> what I'm looking at. Like everybody's like, "Oh, Zay, like fam, like you realize the other guy is our player too. Like he's coming. Back. Like we need yeah. him. Help. The fact that he took that hit and isn't cautious." Or weary about going through the, you know what I'm saying, going through the tackles. That's the shit I'm looking at. Like, oh, everybody's looking at the highlight. I'm like, oh, citizens feeling more and more comfortable. Yeah. He builds that confidence in that knee. Who? That's that's a problem in that backfield where, like, yo, how are people gonna get all the carries? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, like, it's stop. You know what I'm saying? The wrap up is part of it. You just yeah, mm-hmm. like you just, I know that. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, just just creating a habit. You know what I mean? Just creating a habit. Like I, I get it. You, the big hit is there. You wanna, mm-hmm. you wanna do that. You know, especially as a safety. Like you wanna come down. You wanna, you wanna hit them. But yeah, just, just for the habit, man. Wrap up. You know, this ain't high yeah, school, then, now, son. I, I like you. I bet you. Uh, after tomorrow, they'll drop a highlight of somebody wrapping up because they do that. <laughs> like they hear what we, what people talk about in the reaction to it, and then the next thing you're like. Remember when everybody was showing the X catch, and everybody's like, "Yo, the DB's getting toasted." Yada yeah. The next highlight was the DB's mm-hmm. locking up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's that's smart. Like they they listen. Like, oh, you want you you're only getting ten seconds of the whole practice, as sure. if that was the entire thing. We don't know if Citizen had 15 carries for 150 yards. Sure. We have no we have no idea. Yeah. All right, man. I got nothing else. I got nothing else for you, man. You got anything else, Joey? No. Yo, you heard, I know. man. We got the merch on there. Yep. Uh, ben got a you heard. Do you have a you heard shirt on? Yeah, oh, man. Got one of the you heard shirts on. You know what I mean? We got some new merch. We coming with some new merch because we got some feedback. And, mm-hmm. you know, some f- people want different things, you know. So we got to mm-hmm. come up with some new joints. You know, we out here trying to make the best stuff for y'all, man. Yeah, we, we trying to make some feedback. stuff, man. We may need to get with a a little graphic design or something. You know, if anybody got their, if anybody in the comment, oh, anybody yeah, in the chat, you know. any any y'all rock. You know, what I'm saying graphic designers, no graphic designer, man. Make sure they reach out to us. You heard pod at gmail.com or you know, what I'm saying our Twitter's open. I'm saying y'all know us, Benny Boondocks, Joe Skill, Chalupa Batman, Poke Kane. You know, what I'm saying we we redesigning some stuff. We we realize what's working. We're always trying to improve, man. Appreciate y'all so much, Cuban Kane. You you my guy, man. Always like your interactions, man. You funny, bro. Hey, Terrence, man. I didn't forget about you. I've been forgetting. My guy, Terrence, man, out in Texas, listen to the pod, man. Salute yeah. to you. I've known this man since middle school, bro. So salute to him, man. Appreciate y'all so much. We up out of here, man. You heard pod. Peace. <laughs>